All right, so this is Pollux, and as beautiful as this thing looks, it took a long time to get to this point. Now, let me remind you that this was a Power Mac G5. It's been fully gutted and completely modified, and I was working on this with my friend Jacob for probably like a month and a half. It took a long time, right? Long enough, <laughs> let me tell you. A lot of hours put into this. Money spent on this case can't even justify how much it's actually worth to me. Because for one, this is like a dream computer right here. Just having this case, how it looks and everything. But I picked up a Power Mac G5, fully functional. It probably cost about $100, I think. Had to gut the whole thing. We actually cut this hole in the side of here. I had glass mounted on the side of this case and I also had the whole thing powder coated and then hit it with some blue accents on the side here. Now I did retain a lot of the original hardware in this such as uh, the back fan mount here on the case and then also the hard drive bay which is behind this door here. But I do have the original IO on the front of here which I'm actually a big fan of. And there's actually a cable you can buy that will convert the proprietary connector on this front IO panel to an ATX motherboard, which is awesome. It's not cheap, but it's pretty cool, and it makes the power button work. You have audio output on the front, and I have a single USB 3.0 port. The Firewire port doesn't work, but who uses Firewire anymore? But this thing is awesome. All right, so as great as this looks, let's talk about everything that's inside of here, because there's a lot going on here. As far as specifications go, I have the Ryzen 7 1700 processor. I have the NVIDIA 1080 Ti, 64 gigabytes of HyperX Predator RAM from Kingston, and all that's sitting in the Asus B350M-A motherboard. Now, on top of all that, keeping everything cool is a pretty awesome custom loop that I built thanks to the people over at EK, and they were instrumental in making this whole thing happen, so check them out. Links for everything will be in the description, but as far as the parts go for them, I have the D5 pump and res combo. I also have the XE performance radiator here, and I do have a full cover water block for the 1080 Ti, as well as the Supremacy Evo CPU block, which mind you, I'm actually using UV reactive fluid in there, and I have a couple of UV light bars at the bottom here, which gives it that really cool glowing effect inside of the case. It just looks really nice all around. As far as storage goes, I have a 240 gigabyte Neutron SSD from Corsair that I have the operating system on. And as far as storage goes, I actually have two Western Digital Blue one terabyte solid state drives running in RAID 0. Now along with all of that, I also threw in a Wi-Fi card from TP-Link, which works pretty good out of the box with the Hackintosh stuff. And I also do have an Asus Bluetooth receiver that plugs in via USB. And because of this, I get native Mac functionality like AirDrop and HandOff. And yes, they work just as unreliably as on a real Mac. Now you're probably wondering about cable management. And in this case, there is zero of that because everything was like custom formed inside of the case under like cable channels that ran underneath the motherboard that was originally in here. And really you just have a literally a blank canvas and I was fortunate enough to be able to run most of my cables underneath the motherboard and have them reach up to the top where they need to go and down to the bottom where the power supply is. There's a lot of rigging that needs to happen to make this work, but I tell you, once it's all put together, it is totally worth it. And if you wanna try to do something like this for yourself, you can pick up these cases on eBay for pretty cheap or places like Craigslist, but I will tell you, it is a lot to get this type of thing going on. So this whole project is nothing new. Plenty of people have built a PC inside of a Power Mac G5 case, but in order to get it to this point, like I said, it takes a lot of work. And about a month and a half ago, I just brought up this crazy idea to my friend Jacob, and he was like, yo, let's go, let's do it. So this is what we came down to. And he built one that is pretty much identical to this as well. And it looks great, but how does it run? Well, let's talk about performance for a second. So with the water cooling here, I was easily able to overclock the processor to 3.975 gigahertz and even as far as four gigahertz with a little bit of luck. But I had a top Geekbench score of 4409 on the single core score and 26,317 on the multi-core score. And I was able to snag a pretty nice Cinebench score of 1,770 as well. I wasn't planning on gaming with this at all, but a dual boot setup to Windows definitely made me happy with frame rates over 100 frames per second at 1440p in very high settings in Rise of the Tomb Raider and around 126 frames per second in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare at the same resolution and settings. 
My main goal here is video editing though, and this definitely gets the job done with a few caveats. Because this is based on an AMD chip, we lack the Intel Quick Sync feature that boosts Final Cut export times, resulting in my top spec 15 inch MacBook Pro able to export a four minute video nearly four times before Polux completed the same export. On the Adobe Premiere side of things, there's a different story though, with Polux exporting a three minute and 15 second video almost three minutes faster than the MacBook Pro, but keep in mind here that with the current Nvidia drivers for Mac OS, we're only getting roughly half the GPU performance. But think about it this way, Polux costs almost half of a spec matched Mac Pro that Apple currently sells. And while this build is a bit expensive, you can actually put together a less expensive version of a Hackintosh setup for around 900 bucks. And my buddy Quinn from Snazzy Labs actually built one. So hit the link in the description and go check out his awesome build video. All right, so that about wraps it up for this video. This is Polux, I am Dom, you are wonderful. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more crazy builds like this in the future. And like I said, links to everything will be below in the description, including a link to my buddy Jacob's Instagram. Go follow him and check out the pictures of the identical build that he did to this. So thanks again, and I will catch you in the next video.